everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher, and today I'm here to review Beach Song by Ros Moriarty, illustrated by Samantha Campbell. This was a book that was sent to me by Alan and Anwen for a review, so thank you very much to them. And this is a really gorgeous, gorgeous story. It is about a child who is at the beach and explores the coastline, and from their perspective, they tell us so much about the beauty of this landscape, comparing it to the flora and fauna around it. There is a consistent text structure on every page. So there is a paragraph about the part of the coast that the child is exploring, and then also a way that the child can emulate part of what's happening in this sequence. For example, when I stare out at the sea, at the waves crashing in, I see what the whale sees, wind ripped troughs of the running tide that laps the rocky reef. I blow like the whale blows. So it's a really beautiful, very lyrical storytelling style. Like I said, the structure is wonderful. It's very poetic in the way that the story is told, which makes it really great for a read aloud. Not only are they lovely to just sort of read in your head, but to actually say them out loud, there is a beautiful lyrical quality to them. This book also has really wonderful tier two words, which is great for developing vocabulary, including towering, torrent, foamy, lapse, luminous, sculpted, and perch. Such rich words that you can do a lot with either learning the meaning of, learning the multiple meanings of, or using in your own writing. It's also great for connection, so you can use this as a discussion and a starting point to talk about personal experiences at the beach or along the coastline. And even if students haven't been or experienced the beach or the coastline, it can be a really great one to talk about your favourite place and the sorts of things that you see and hear there and how does that make you feel and what do you do in those environments. So even though it's about the beach, you can definitely use it to talk about wider contexts and environments, which then links in really nicely to a writer's notebook style activity where you can actually have students explore a place that they know really well and use this as a guide and say, well, how could you explain this to other people? And can you use Ros Moriarty's writing style as a template to craft off of to explore a new way of writing? A new lyrical way of writing. So that's always really fun to do that and this is a great text for it. It also just has really lovely gorgeous illustrations. I love the end papers but everything is just very joyful and bright and very evocative of a day at the beach. So thank you again to the publisher for sending me a review copy. I really enjoyed reading it and I can't wait to share it with my students. In the comments I would love to know if you have read the book or if you're planning on picking it up or if you have other books that are very similar in tone feel free to share those down below. If you want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment feel free to leave a shell emoji down below otherwise I hope that wherever you're on the world you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.